tell you everyone we will continue the call transaction method of bdc and we covered the various processing modes various update modes now we will go for last part what is the last part we have to write messages into mess tab internal table now what is the purpose of this internal table word itself is suggesting messages into internal table if you want to do the error handling because it is not the case that every record will be processed successfully we might face the errors warnings or in or success during the upload so this internal table will give us the result so this mess tab internal table is for the error handling error handling in what sense it will tell us if there is a error if there is a warning if there is a problem in that data so we will get each and everything in this internal table so i will write messages into i will write internal table lt underscore mess tab now i will declare this internal table lt underscore mess tab and how i can check the type of this same way uncomment the include and check what is the type of your mess tab mess tab is of this type so i will simply copy and paste in our program and it is saying also messages of call transaction i will declare in my program and we know without with a with header line concept is obsolete so we have to go for without header line concept so i will simply write lt underscore mess tab type table of and this is our structure sap predefined structure i will remove with header line if i will double click this is a sap predefined structure this is sap predefined structure now i will declare the work area also ls underscore mess tab and we will use this for error handling to show the errors or success or warning messages i'll check the syntax and activate okay i will comment that include because whatever is required we copied so now i will comment this include we copied the mess step now i am commenting it is syntactically correct now we will go for a detailed understanding suppose this internal table has 1000 records first record will go to work area these performs will execute or we can say this recording steps will execute your every recording step will go to this internal table and we are calling mm01 for those recording steps and we are going for a mode first then we will go for n mode and then we will go for error also one by one firstly i will run because two to three things are still pending but in the debugging mode we will see and then i will come on to the conclusion suppose for the best understanding i will put a break i will put a break point so that you can understand i am running i will upload the file 
whenever i will click on to this execute button my start of selection event will call i will go to text on 3 you can see this internal table has five records and first record we moved to work area we moved to work area so in ls data we have the first record we will open our bdc data internal table bdc data internal it is blank as of now once these all subroutines will execute you can clearly see each and every step is going to this internal table suppose i will go inside the first subroutine and you can see we appended the data to bdc data internal table and you can see first record appended to this internal table and ultimately it is a recording steps first step in which you went to screen number 16 now we will move next second subroutine execute you can see two records you can see 3 4 5 so each and every step of the recording we are passing to this internal table and you can see we have 16 records in this internal table and you can understand in a way also just think when we did the recording we performed 16 steps 16 steps we went to a screen we gave the material number industry sector material type you can see description you can see unit of measurement now we will call the transaction mm01 and we are using which mode a mode and now you will understand what all screen is i am executing and you can see it show you screen by screen processing what is our first material in the file if you see p vat 1 what is industry sector pharmaceutical what is troh raw material now i will press enter you can see everything is same but we did through recording enter you can see description material 1 what is unit of measurement ea enter so it is showing you screen by screen processing how data is uploading so our first material created now if i will show you mess tab internal table because i told you in mess tab internal table we will get each and everything if i will show you mess tab internal table you can see message type is success we got a message 800 and this is the message this is the material number if you see what is the material number p mat 1 it means our first material created successfully you can check in sc91 message class what this message is what is our message class what is our message class m3 and what is the message number 800 if i will go for 800 message number which sap gave 800 i will simply go from there itself 800 display material this created material m percent m percent m percent will be replaced by what p mat 1 so material p mat 1 created so sap gave the message also so ultimately your everything is going to this mass tab internal table internal table now we will go for important understand so our first material created now i am going next i am going next we are filling the bdc data internal table now you can see 
Previously, we have 16 steps. Now, 16 records. Now, we have how many records? 32 records. But for every material, we have how many records? Only 16 records. So, what is happening? Previous 16 and this 16 are adding. So, 16 plus 16 is 32. But we want only 16. So, that's why I told you some things are pending, which will be only clear when I will show you in the debugging mode. So, always remember, whenever you are again calling MM01 for each and every record, please, please refresh, refresh. It means it will process the record. After that, it will refresh. Then again, it will go to next. It will refresh. Then again, it will go to next. It will refresh. So we have to refresh the internal table so that every time it will take the 16 steps. If you see this internal table as of now, we have 16 steps of the first material. This is our first material. We have the 16 steps of second material. So system will confuse if I will execute. You can see PMAT1 already we processed, but it is coming again because it is again taking first to 16 records only. So we have to refresh the internal table so that at every iteration, it will get the new, new record. So we will simply, simply refresh this internal table. This is the most important part because maximum people will not refresh and they will tell the same material is getting created again and again. So after processing, please, please refresh your internal table. Now I will go for refresh, refresh LT underscore BDC. I will check the syntax and activate. Rest part, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.